Finally, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings coaching news that we've been waiting for all damn day. Rap sheet, go. The Broncos are expected to hire former Vikings OC Clint Kubiak as their new quarterbacks coach and passing game coordinator. Uh, you know, the PGC, looking for Mr. Warren G., Whatever. Uh, a big hire for new coach Nathaniel Hackett as Kubiak helped Kirk Cousins have one of his best seasons in 2021 while Colin plays in Minnesota. Woo! So that's why he's keeping the job. Uh-huh. And just you know, an- another sign that everyone's going to be washed out. Well, maybe not everyone. Maybe Harbaugh knock- knocking on all the wood keeps a couple coaches. But, yeah, Kubiak heads back to Denver where he obviously has a lot of connections. His dad, Gary Back in the day, won the Broncos the Super Bowl. Former Broncos QB, he played he played his ball at Colorado State University. Was a team captain. Also was on the Broncos staff for three years uh, with Gary before coming over to Minnesota uh, and Kevin Stefanski. So all, all that stuff, all, all that. Where you know I I do like Clint Kubiak and I think he does have a bright future. And let it be the Vikings' luck that he just goes on and becomes the next Sean McVay. But I, he wasn't ready to be an OC this year Uh, and what bugged a lot of fans is that he got the job because of who his father is and you know gary was the oc two years ago and also because he was young enough and just wanted that opportunity that he acquiesced to all the requests of mike zimmer run run pass punt run run pass punt and the vikings the offense was solid at times it was garbage at times and especially in, in clutch situations where It was so frustrating, especially on third down, where the Vikings were just so atrocious. How many three and outs did the Vikings have? They might have led the league. It might have been up there. But, I mean, with all that talent, with Dalvin and Jefferson and Thielen, well, Dalvin and Thielen throughout most of the season, Kirk Cousins having uh, the best year of his career, the offensive line actually doing some things at times, KJ stepping up, and just this. I mean, just this, where they weren't in the top 10 in any major statistical category outside of turnovers and red zone, 26 and third down, like we mentioned, and they're just average. Even though Jefferson had himself a monster year, Kirk had a great year, Dalvin, when he was healthy, had some big games, but it was just really disjointed. It didn't feel like there was a good flow, especially in the second half after they got away from scripted plays. It just seemed like Kubiak, sorry, Little Kubes, didn't have the experience. He didn't have that flow of being able to adjust in-game. But you know, like I said, I do think that he will eventually be a very good play caller in this league. It just wasn't last year. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, but, yeah, of course, going back to Denver, that's a safe space for him. They still have reverence for Gary Kubiak. Won them the Super Bowl 2015. It's good stuff. Plus, I mean, that Denver offense is going to be legit. Oh, by the way, conspiracy theory, man. Even though if and when Harbaugh gets a job here, I think that Kirk Cousins stays in place because I think that he wants uh, the veteran quarterback. But... Now that's two connections in Denver with ties uh, to uh, Kirk Cousins, George Payton, the GM, and now Clint Kubiak. But, I mean, the Broncos have weapons. And this isn't isn't even listing K.J. Hamler or Dalton Reiser. But they got Cortland Sutton. They got Tim Patrick. They got Jerry Judy. That's a hell of a trio. Garrett Bowles is one of the better young left tackles in the league. Quinn Maynard's stud. I absolutely loved him. Senior Bowl star. UW, powerful UW Whitewater, man. Uh, Noah Fant is going to be a, a great tight end in this league as well. They just have to figure out who the quarterback is going to be. Oh, Javante Williams? Uh, they need to get rid of Melvin Gordon. Like, Mike Boone could be RB2. And Javante Williams, he's just a monster. He's just a monster, man. So, there's a lot of weapons there uh, on the Denver offense. Even though you know, Nathaniel Hackett has already said that he's going to be calling plays. And th- that just means uh, Clint Kubiak, even though he's not even the official OC, he's just going to be the rubber stamp passing game coordinator. Maybe script some plays, uh, coach up the quarterback. So, I think it's a good landing spot for him. Uh, I think that Denver's going to have a very good offense on, under Hackett. I think that Clint Kubiak will get a lot of credit. And then I think eventually he will move on to find another play calling gig. Or hell, maybe in a couple years he finds himself in a head coaching gig. So who knows? But this is not a rest and piss, you won't be missed situation. I actually like Clint Kubiak. I, I think that he was put in, in a really tough situation this year. But it is what it is. On to the next one. Wishing him luck. We'll see you in the Super Bowl. Brah! Right. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Clint Kubiak hired by the Broncos. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.